Hello Biotechnica, welcome to another video. Today I have come up with an amazing opportunity for all of you. Suppose you are someone who are thinking like I'm a fresher in biotechnology or if you're from microbiology or whatever life science you might be. If you are a fresher, then this video is definitely going to be for you. As well as if you are an experienced in any of the fields, then definitely you can go for this government examination I'm going to talk about. So whether you're fresher or whether you're experienced, if you're looking for a government job, then I'll be talking in this video how to become a patent agent in India. If you're someone who is thinking what is this patent agent positions, then come along with me and let's talk about the complete topic in detail. So now let's talk about what is this patent agent in India. Before going in for this, first let's understand what, who is this patent agent and what is patent all about? So usually a patent is given for a person for almost 20 years. Let's take it like this where a person has discovered a drug for a particular disease or he has found out an instrument or an equipment uh, or whatever it is. If he has uh, found some new things that is actually creative and enough for the scientific community or there is some sort of technological innovation and it is a right which is given to the inventor, the discoverer who has found it and he can use this for almost 20 years and nobody else can use the equipment or the instrument or the protocols that he has found out without the uh, inventor's permission. So that is the right given to the patent uh, person who received it. Suppose if we have to talk about when we are making any sort of thing, we used to have a copyright. The same way, patent is similar to that. Now the question comes to us is, who is this patent agent? This patent agent is the one who actually receives the patent application form submitted by the discoverer or the inventor. And he used to read all the protocols or um, the scientific information. Suppose if a person has discovered a drug for a particular disease, of course, so what he will do is he will learn all the other thing and he will analyze what this drug has done very nicely in treating this disease rather than the many other drugs. So he used to analyze the scientific information in the form of a patent document, which means this without the approval of this person, patent cannot be done in India as well as throughout the world. So now we understood who is this patent agent? Is it very well worthy enough to take it up? Yes, it is. So let's talk about what are the rights of a patent. So this is a government job. So there is a section of 127 and 128 of Patent Act of 1970, they have to do certain functions. So this is according to the government's rules. So I'm going to list out main important things to practice before the controller. I'm going to take this first point and the second point we're going to deal. To apply for or obtain patents in India or elsewhere. So patent agent can be working in India. If you're going to write this examination, you can work in India and you can obtain patents in India or elsewhere. You can uh, apply for your client or you can also get a patent in India or anywhere else in the world. To prepare specification or other documents for the act or any other country's patent law, you are the one who actually makes a claim, I'll be talking about, uh, in the favor of your client, to give advice other than scientific or technical nature. You are the one who actually analyzes the scientific innovations that's, or discovery that's been done by a scientist. And you prepare all the documents and you will verify which company has uh, produced this drug for the first time. You will be doing this business analysis and you will be carrying out all these protocols before the controller. This is the roles and responsibility or the rights of the patent agent, which means this is going to be a most privileged uh, job that we can say you can literally go for the next question comes for us is what are the knowledge that is required in order to become a patent agent. First important thing is you need to know about the patent laws in India. Indian patent laws, I'll be talking about which section you have to study and patent claims drafting capabilities, I'll be talking about this interpretation ability because they're going to give you a scientific innovation. You have to interpret what exactly they're going to talk about and then only you can literally file this patent for them. The next important thing is how much is the salary going to be? This is very, very important because it's going to be a government profile for you. So as an initial fresher, if you're looking for a job, you can write this exam. You're going to get almost uh, 3.5 lakhs and it's gradually going to increase to 24 lakh 
for one year which means almost two lakh you will be getting for one month which is a wonderful opportunity so the next important thing is what's the eligibility who can apply for this patent agent examination first of course it's an indian you can apply 21 years if you are from 21 years that's why i told you even after completing your bachelor's you can start applying for this freshers can apply masters and phd everybody can apply for this examination and you should be in science and technology engineering from any of the indian university biotechnology microbiology whatever it you are you can apply and the next important question comes for us is suppose if you're bachelors final year students if you're going to ask me this question can i apply for this exam definitely but you need to show that two months of results before the publication like suppose the result is published this time then within two months you have to show that your degree has been done then the next important thing is who can apply bsc candidates can apply msc in science any of the things be me b tech m tech b pharma m pharma phd anybody can apply for these examinations so if you're someone who is looking for a government opportunity as a fresher then i would definitely suggest patent agent is an examination where you have no negative marks also you can definitely go for this examination the next one what is the examination center very limited examination center so you have to write only in this center Mumbai, Delhi, Nagpur, Chennai and Kolkata. So five examination center, it's going to be a return examination. So make sure you're knowing all these things. The next important thing, when is this going to be conducted? Every year, once in a year, it's not going to be two times. Once in a year, it will be conducted usually in the month of May. Tentatively, if we have to talk about usually in the month of May, you will be having. The conducting body is Indian Patent Office, Government of India is conducting this examination. Now, the next question comes for us is, is this examination easy? What are the examination pattern going to be? So, I'm going to talk about the complete exam pattern in detail. So, you can see. Uh, since I told you this is going to be a written examination, so paper 1, paper 2 is going to be there. Paper 1 is for 100 marks and paper 2 is also going to be for 100 marks. First, if we have to talk about paper 1, let me show you all these things. This paper 1 talks about patent acts and rules. I'll be talking what are the books, what are the materials you can follow. This is actually a law that you have to learn, patent acts and rules. And questions will be in the form of objective type questions only. It will be MCQ type of questions. And you will have 50 questions. You will have 50 questions based on the Indian patent law. You can actually download the PDF which will be available uh, from the IPO website itself. And the examination is going to be for 2 hours for paper 1. And there is no negative mark. The second one is paper two, which is also a written examination. And this is going to be descriptive, subjective paper. This is going to be descriptive and subjective paper. No objective or MCQ type. Here you will be having questions mainly on how to write a patent or how to draft a patent, how to interpret uh, the invention that's been given to you. You will be analyzing all this thing according to the Patent Act and PCT, which is Patent Corporation treaty so you'll be analyzing all these things so duration of this examination paper 2 is going to be for 3 hours and they're going to have two type of questions since i told you it's going to be descriptive one will be a long answer type of question the second one will be they'll be giving you a question about some innovations and you will be writing a draft or patent draft of that which is given as a question so you have to draft a patent so this is about the paper and in both paper 1 and paper 2, how much mark you need to get in both the papers. In paper 1, you need to have 50% of the mark and paper 2, you need to have 50% of the mark minimum you need to have in order to qualify. After if you clear paper 1 and paper 2 with 50% minimum of marks, then you will be called for a Viva OS, which is an personal interview kind of thing here you will be having 50 marks and you have to qualify 50 marks exactly the questions will be based on your personal uh, like about you as well as they'll talk about the sections that you have studied we almost have like 160 sections uh, so they'll be talking about questions on that only and there is no negative mark for the return test now if you get 50 percentage of the mark in paper one and 50 percentage of the mark in paper two and if you're going to have more than 60 percentage in totally paper one paper two and viva was then you are you have qualified a patent agent examination and then you'll be given a training and then you'll be starting uh, drafting all this patent in the indian government of india so this is about the exam pattern for all of you
So now let's talk about the papers, paper 1 and paper 2. So the first paper you will be dealing with all the acts and we'll be dealing with what's going to be the fees, everything in detail. So you, whenever you're preparing for paper 1, you should study that clearly. For your reference, I'm going to give you the PDF where you will get all the acts from the government of India. So if you go to this PDF, you will exactly get this is the complete acts you have to study. It's it's going to be in the legal terminology so you can write it in the form of flowchart and you can start studying there are going to be 160 sections according to 160 sections you can start applying for this one and the next is going to be bare act of indian uh, patent acts 1970 this is all the acts will be given here so based on this only you will have the objective or mcq based question so you can download it from the uh, official website which is indian patent of india or you can go to this uh, one and you can actually download the PDF and there as I already mentioned there are 160 sections you have to study which will be in the legal terminologies like a lawyer where they used to study laws so here you have to concentrate mainly on these sections section number two and if you want you can take a screenshot what are the sections you should never ever skip and you need to talk about what is the updated forms because Based on this forms only, you'll be drafting all your patents and how much is the fees. Everything you need to remember accordingly. And you have to apply these sections when you're going to write the paper too also. The paper too is you will be practicing draft patents, applications and claims. As I already mentioned, you will be writing a patent draft. By knowing all the sections, they will be giving you one scientific uh, innovations for you or inventions for you and accordingly you will file the patent exactly so how to file the patent or draft the patent so you can take some of the interesting patent from Indian Patent Office website and what you can do is you hide the claims whichever is written that you just hide the claims and you start writing specialization and now you start writing how to write the patent uh, by your own like using all the sections this comes out of practice you will be doing all this thing so this is for paper one and this is for paper two the next one, how to start your preparation. Suppose if you are not aware of what is this patent agent examination, I'm going to tell you what are the things you have to do. Suppose if you know, you would be understanding what is paper one and paper two. Suppose if you're fresher who are looking out this video, then I'm going to tell you, uh, download the PDF as I already mentioned, and you will have all the Indian Patent Act of 1970 and study all the patents thoroughly with all the sections very specifically all the informations about um, rules regulations what are the fees what are the forms that are available everything you need to study and pct is like a patent cooperation treaty process and how they practice everything you need to know and intellectual property rights which you'll be studying like uh, in your masters itself and then you have to remember how to claim how to understand the claim language because as i already told you they'll be giving a claim or you'll be writing a patent draft so how to understand the claim which is given and how to structure the claim how to give a body to the claim and you need to understand what is a dependent claim and some examples apparatus claims and examples and what are the process okay now you understood for paper one and you know how to draft it but in order to practice, you need to go for a lot of case studies. Take some uh, 10 case studies which will be available. This you can get it in your previous year question paper itself. I'm going to show you that link also where you can download. So try to solve for paper two, lot many case studies and try to write a draft by yourself. And the next one is practice previous your questions a lot of time because uh, you have question papers which are available for you and you start practicing it so you can download previous year question paper through the link that i have given where you will get all the question papers of paper one and paper two along with the answers and finally for viva was mostly question comes from your sections only your laws drafts fees and your personal details they'll be asking you it's going to be a normal personal interview for you so if you're going to qualify 50 percentage of minimum mark in paper one and 50 percentage of minimum mark in paper two and almost 50 percentage of mark in viva was an aggregate of 60 uh, percentage more you're going to get you are going to become a patent agent okay now the next question comes for us is What's going to be the future scope if you have become a patent agent? So you can either enter into pharma company because we know that in a pharma company, they will discover something. Biotech company, they will discover some drugs. Manufacturing company produces some products. Automobile companies produces some product. So whatever they are producing it, they need to patent it because it is their own. So they will file this patent in the 
IPO only in the government of India and the patent agent only process this pro uh, complete things like he will be uh, writing a patent complete details a draft of that and then he will be approving it so this is the future scope so wherever you go for any company whether it's IT company pharma company biotech company manufacturing company automobile government wherever it is all the company used to um, submit their patents only in the government of India so patent agent is the one who actually does all this thing now the benefit for us is you're going to get a government job, you're going to get a certificate because this is going to be a certificate. And of course, you're going to get a very good salary, which has a less competition when you're going to go in for any government examination. When we talk about UPSC, it's competing for you. SSAC is very competing for you. But as a biotechnology, as a science graduate, microbiology, definitely, you know about the scientific interventions and inventions. So it will be very for easy for you to read many biotechnology research, chemistry research, and you will understand it very clearly and you can submit the patents for the scientists. So you'll be dealing with scientists, some companies and many, many organizations you'll be dealing with it. So if you are a fresher or or if you are an experience, whether in your bachelor's, master's, PhD, whatever it is, I'm going to tell you, patent agent examination is a wonderful opportunity for you to go for and write the examinations and there is less competitions and you have very limited um, portions to study and you do not have negative marks. So this is all the advantage that you have as a patent agent. If somebody else is looking for a job in any of the government sector, then I would suggest you can go in for patent agent. So share this video with as many as people you can, because this video will help any one of them. Thank you all of you for joining. And we believe in one thing, Biotechnica helps every student out corner so that they get benefited through the video. So share as much as possible and click onto the subscribe button. Thank you all of you for your time.